Question 17. John is driving from Cambridge to Newcastle. Um, so we've got the map here of Cambridge to Newcastle. And it tells us that the scale is 1 centimetre represents 50 miles. John needs to be in Newcastle by 11am. He drives an average speed of 60 miles per hour. What time does he need to leave Cambridge? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, well, we need to work out, well, how far is it actually between Newcastle and Cambridge? So what you need to do, because I've given us a scale here, is we need to measure this distance here in one very nice straight line. So if I was you, I would connect them up using a ruler and measure this, and you should find that the distance between them is four centimetres. Okay, now because the distance on there is four centimetres, we can now work out how many miles that is. Okay, so if one centimetre represents 50 miles, to find out how many four centimetres, uh, to find out how many miles are in four centimetres, we multiply it by four. So 50 times four is 200. So we know that John is going to be travelling 200 miles. Okay. Now, this question, okay, we've got distance, we've got a time element, and we've got a speed. So it's a speed, distance, time question. And because it's one of those, to help us out, we're, I'm going to draw out the speed, distance, time triangle. So speed at the bottom, distance on top, and T along the bottom as well. Okay. Um, and so we've got the speed. And we've got the distance, so we need to work out how long it's taking. So to work out time, if we cover that over, okay, we need to do distance divided by the speed. So we know distance is 200, so 200 divided by, and it's dividing because the D is on top of the S. And, and the speed tells us is 60 miles per hour, so we're going to divide it by 60. Okay, now if we type it into a calculator, you should get an answer of 3.3 recurring. Okay, now that's 3.3 hours. I'm just going to put oh, HRS for hours, make it shorter. Okay, now it's important that you don't think that this means 3 hours and 30 minutes. That's not the case. What this means is 3 hours and 0.33333 hours as well okay so that's essentially three hours and a third of an hour now a third of an hour is just 20 minutes because it's just 60 divided by three that gives us 20 so actually this is talking about three hours so 3h and 20 minutes okay that's probably the trickiest part of this whole question making sure that you're turning it from just hours into three hours and 20 minutes okay now to go from there you're doing really well it says john needs to write needs to be in newcastle at 11 a.m now we know that it takes him three hours 20 so for us to work out what time he needs to leave cambridge if we do it's 11 a.m and we go back three hours so let's take away three hours that's going to take him all the way back to 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Um, so we've got done the three hours. So now we just need to take away the remaining 20 minutes. So if we take away 20 minutes. Take away 20 minutes. You will get 7.40 a.m. Oh. 7.40 I'm going to put the AM so they know it's in the morning okay and that is my answer